Uh, the lobster populations in the Northumberland have been collapsed for quite a number of years and, uh, and no amount of fisheries measure measures uh, have seemed to improve that. So, so the conclusion is that there are other factors uh, influencing it that are not coming from the strait itself but are in fact coming from the surrounding land. The uniqueness of that area is mainly because of the proximity to shore on both sides. So uh, you have uh, a lot more contaminants, a lot more runoff, and you have it coming from, like you said, both sides, where it's right there and it really has nowhere to go. Well, that area compared to other areas have really, really low um, recruitment at the fishermen, very low landings compared to the north of New Brunswick, for example. The land activity we're looking at in this specific project is the, the uh, pesticides in particular. So generally agricultural pesticides that are used on land that may end up out in the strait that could be influencing lobster. Uh, so one of the hypotheses is that pesticides could be influencing the, uh, the lobster and other crustaceans and, and organisms in the Northumberland. We are interested on any effect that could potentially be an explanation. It could be temperature, it could be pesticide, it could be acidification, it could... We are like studying all of those aspects. At UPEI we have Dr. Spencer Greenwood who with the, uh, the Atlantic Veterinary College uh, Lobster uh, Research Center. Uh, so he's a lobster expert and we have Brian Wagner who's in the, in the chemistry department. Uh, and he's looking at new chemical methods to, uh, to assess and monitor pesticides. A lot of fishermen probably aren't really knowledgeable right now about what we're doing, but uh, you know, once we get the information out there, I'm sure that uh, most fishermen will be happy to hear that we're, we're looking into it. At the end, we, ha we hope to have uh, a couple of main uh, sort of tangible outcomes. Uh, the first being uh, is that uh, we will have tested the hypothesis of whether or not pesticides are having an influence on organisms. Secondly, we want to have new methods of monitoring so that we're understanding on a long-term basis how the environment is changing in response to things that are happening on land in particular. I think it's great. Like, I mean, uh, you know, uh, government, science, fisheries, all working together. Everybody, uh, you know, work together and, and come to a solution if there's a problem. I would say I'm proud that the fishermen are taking care of their resource. I think it's important and they are at the origin of our involvement in this project and I think that uh, it's good for the future. It's pretty or, like original and new that the fishermen are taking care of their the future and, and I'm proud that they are supporting this project.